So a lot of people want to be 16 years old so they can have sex legally. Well, I wanted to be 16 and not because of that, because that is disgusting, okay? This is a Christian, God dang it, PewDiePie has already taken that. This is a Jewish channel. We do not talk about things like that. The reason why I wanted to be 16 is because I can buy petrol now, which which is pretty cool. I, I've never bought petrol, believe it or not. Like, I don't understand why 16-year-olds are allowed to buy petrol in the UK. Like, it seems pointless to me. Like, what are you going to use the petrol for? Oh, Cameron, at, at 16, you can actually ride a moped, so that's what you need your petrol for. Petrol is really flipping interesting, okay? I, I, I do A-level chemistry. I find chemistry really interesting, and I actually need to do some chemistry revision later. So I wanted to motivate myself to do some goddamn chemistry revision whilst making a goddamn video. So in today's video, we're going to be reacting to how is it made. I have never made a video reacting to how it's made before. I'm trying a new original series on this channel. What are you on about? Genuinely though, I have not seen any other videos on YouTube in which the, uh, people react to how it's made. So, this is technically a niche market, so technically it's a original video idea. So the video that I found is called How It's Made Crude Oil. Uh, crude oil is pretty much petroleum, which includes petrol. Believe it or not, petroleum is a group of fuels including petrol. It's very confusing. Organic chemistry is very confusing anyway. Because <laughs> people don't understand how words work. Because, like, gas in America means fuel for cars. So motor fuels, like petrol. But gas in this country, you know, the UK, means natural gas. Which, are complete, which is completely different. Okay, so I'm getting confused now. We're going to watch this video called How It's Made Crude Oil. Uh, it's only got 68,000 views. I don't think many people are actually interested in this topic. God dang it! But I'm going to make you guys interested in it, I promise. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Also, be sure to, to subscribe to the channel if you're new today. It helps me out a lot. Don't sniff petrol, guys. It's bad for you. Instead, just flip and drink it. Okay, I can't say that. I'm joking, by the way. Petrol is really dangerous, okay, believe it or not. Like, I hear a lot of people make the joke of, Oh, I like sniffing petrol. It smells nice. And I'm like, what are you even on about? And they're like, oh, I like to smell when I'm in the petrol station. And I'm just like... Yeah, but it's still bad for you. What? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, let's get reacting to how it's made crude oil. What an interesting video, I know, right? Now, again, I don't get the, the series name, how it's made. You don't make crude oil, believe it or not. Since when is crude oil called petroleum? So, yeah, this person was trying to act smart. Since when is crude oil called petroleum? And then someone else replied, since always. Because it always has been. Organic compounds are very confusing. Because they have so many different flipping names. Like, for example, butane. There's like 20 different names for it. Okay, it's annoying. Right, let's get reacting then. I don't think there is actually 20 names. Shut up. Crude oil, also called petroleum, is an unprocessed oil found deep in the ground. It forms naturally from decomposed prehistoric plants and animals. Oh, so it's not going to be catalytic cracking, which is what normally is used to make petrol. Uh, they're actually just going to be fractionally distillating it. So they separate it from the other crap. The colour can range from clear to black. The consistency from very watery to very thick. Oh, I love it. Very thick. No, you literally mean solid. Have you seen bitumen? What the hell? It's literally tar. How's that thick? It's just a solid at this point. <laughs> Oil companies who drill wells install pumping units to draw up the fluid that contains crude oil and salty water. Oh, salty water. Mm, give that a bit of a lick. This oil field in Central California, USA has 6,000 producing wells. Jesus Christ. There is a lot of oil. Like, it's ridiculous. I think it's something like 50 million barrels are used a day. Okay, that's not right. Oh, 96 million barrels per day. Wow, that's how much they produce. Okay, apparently I... Apparently I, I underestimated it. A barrel is 159 litres. Oh my gosh. 96 million barrels a flipping day. Oh my god. Okay, I need to calm down. I'm getting very interested in this topic. Like, I need to calm down a little bit, I think. The pumping units can run 24 hours a day. Well, of course they can. 
Why would people not think that? Oh, you see the popping units? They need to be turned off at night. They are scared of the dark. Here's what goes on inside the well. With each downstroke, the pumping unit pushes a steel rod down the steel tube lining the well. With each upstroke, the rod rises, and the pressure difference between the fluid on the outside and the fluid on the inside opens a ball-shaped valve, plugging the bottom, letting the fluid flow up the tube. That is cool. <laughs> Whoa. Another valve at the top releases the fluid out of the well. To drill a new well, Workers first erect a drilling rig at the side, then hoist a giant pipe with a drill bit on the end. They feed this drill pipe through the center of a spinning disc called a rotary table. As this guy presenting it, like his voice, it's just terrible. I'm sorry, I don't like his voice. <laughs> the table turns, the drill pipe turns, its weight bearing down and boring a hole through the ground. It's like he's expressing every single word in it. You just imagine how much saliva he's got in his mouth. Jeez. Once the drill pipe descends its full nine meter length, they connect another pipe. The process is repeated with subsequent drill pipes until they bore into the reservoir containing fluid. Okay, this is way too complicated. Like, I, I understand this, but I presume most people won't be able to understand this. God dang it. After lining the well with a steel tube to keep the walls from collapsing inward, they mount the pumping unit and install the valves we saw in the model. The pumping unit pushes the rod up and down through the wellhead at the surface. Okay, crude oil looks so just weird. As a safety measure, workers take readings to check the air for any hazardous underground gases that may be exiting the well. Yeah, the reading they has to take, he gets his little stick and he just points it at this red thing yeah i understand what they're on about they draw a sample of fluid to test the well's water to oil ratio the typical ratio is 90 percent water to 10 percent oil that, that is really not that much oil is it wow they get a lot of water from down there don't they you can't drink that water though no you can drink the water it just needs to be separated properly the fluid from each well exits via a pipe, and the pipes from all the wells feed a main line, leading to a gas removal vessel. Ooh, gas removal. John is a gas producer, I would say. The fluid contains carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and natural gas, which has to be extracted. Hydrogen sulfide. Now, I love this description. <laughs> it is a colourless gas with a characteristic foul odour of rotten eggs. It is very poisonous, corrosive, and flammable. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I love how it shows, you know, the flipping bond angle. Just in case you guys need to know that, it's there. The natural gas and carbon dioxide, meanwhile, are piped to another area where they fuel the company's steam generator. Carbon dioxide? Don't they just, you know, allow the carbon dioxide to escape into the atmosphere? <laughs> What are they going to do with it? There's, there's nothing they can do with it. The generator boils the water extracted from the fluid to produce steam. The company injects steam into the wells to heat the fluid, thinning it so that it flows faster. That's clever, I like that. Companies buy crude oil as a raw material for producing petrol, asphalt, plastics, crayons, perfume and many other products. To be fair, oil's used for everything. Because plastic is literally in everything. Except for apples. That's the only exclusion. Okay, I don't even know what I want about. Okay, I didn't realise that this video was going to be this in depth. Oh, there's someone trying to be smart. Now, this is the thing with these how it's made videos. They're, they're very complicated, you know. And what people like to do when they can't understand something is they try to criticise how the video's made or some incorrect information in the video. So, I presume that not many people actually understood every flipping aspect of that video because I didn't even understand all of it, okay? So, a lot of people are, are trying to pretty much, you know, doubt the video. So, let, let's get reading some of these comments. They're really good. Petroleum slash oil from corn. This is bullshit. Corn can be broken down by uh, organisms to form biofuels. 
Thank God for Trump to protect these jobs. To be fair, I understand that argument. I mean, these jobs, you know, they, they could be lost. Uh, but that's good if they're lost because this pollutes the environment. This is how it's extracted, not how it's made. <laughs> you want to see the process of millions of years. Uh. Great. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I don't know how it turned out. Uh, it was probably extremely nerdy and probably not that funny. And I apologize for that, god dang it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment, and also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.